Alright, hello everyone and welcome to AEW Discussion. I'm your host and AEW Enthusiast, Dougie and Doug. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing Dynamite July 26, 2023 edition. And this edition of Dynamite was the fallout from Blood and Guts, which saw the conclusion of the Elite versus the BCC. And on this episode of Dynamite, well, Darby Allen and Swerve Strickland would continue their rivalry. And also the BCC would look to get back on track in a triple threat uh, tag team main event. And with that, we're going to get right into the action, starting with an AEW International Championship match to kick off the show. Orange Cassidy versus AR Fox. So, Orange Cassidy is the opening match after AEW. That's something that's been a, I would say, a success for AEW. I think that can be generally agreed upon. He's a guy that, consistent, that is consistently over and always draws a good reaction from the crowd. Plus, he puts on good matches against a variety of opponents with different, different styles and backgrounds, all while telling the story of a competitor who is, well, he's pretty beat up. Uh, the match was fun, there were some great sequences, and the right person went over. Most interesting was A.T.'s turn by Fox, later on confirmed, uh, and the subsequent confrontation with his friend Darby Allen, who got him the title opportunity in the first place. Now, one would hope that Fox would have a little bit more build before making this kind of character change, uh, but if it leads to a short program with Allen, so be it. The attack by John Moxley after the match on Cassidy, maybe that's revenge uh, for what happened at um, Ring of Honor Death Before Dishonor. Uh, maybe not an indicator that Moxley is going after the International Championship, which, which let's be honest, kind of feels beneath him. I, 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 I don't know how else to say other than that, it does kind of feel beneath him. Darby Allen versus Swerve Strickland. So the match itself was good, but certainly not the greatest one between these two. More important than the in-ring content was the turn of uh, A.R. Fox, who is now joining the Mogo Embassy. Um, shining a light on that faction for what might be the first time since Strickland merged with Prince Nada's faction. Now whether this actually benefits Fox in the long run, or if he continues to be a background player remains to be seen, but he was given considerable, considerable spotlight on this uh, show, and hopefully that will lead to an opportunity for him to build on his <coughs> sudden momentum. And in the main event of the show, Black Bull Combat Club versus Lucha Bros versus Best Friends. So, Moxley and Castanoli uh, sought to recover from the uh, loss last week with a win in this main event. Failed to do so here thanks to some later interference from Orange Cassidy, suggesting that perhaps freshly squeezed and the best friends are about to be engaged in a feud with uh, the BCC. So that is the question right there. Is BCC versus best friends loading? Is this what's next? Um, and if it is, that's certainly an interesting creative decision. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's good. I would just like to see how it plays out. Um, Cassidy as the international championship um, and him working against as weekly opponents has been something that's been working great for AEW. I talked about it in the top. You know, it's a, been a successful way for AEW to start the show. But the idea of him battling with someone like Moxley or Cassidy Goli, um might be a bit of a stretch. Uh, and tone and tone out, tone tone wise, they might not mesh together. But then again, how many competitors actually do tonally mesh with uh, Orange Cassidy? Now, now if you're asking if the feud would work, perhaps it would work. You know, perhaps Orange Cassidy is able to pull off a match. Um, perhaps Orange Cassidy is able to pull it off. Um, but again, I don't I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm just curious to see how it plays out and Then I think I can judge whether or not it was a good idea or a better idea based on that um, But as for the triple threat tag team match solid match full of action and hey the Lucha Bros got a win So there's that In conclusion uh, the July 26 episode of Dynamite introduced a potential new rivalry in Cassidy versus Moxley uh, Which again, I'm not exactly sure what the end goal of that would be um, if Mox is competing for the international championship, which I talked about at the top, feels beneath him. I think he could make that kind of title reign work, but I don't know, it just doesn't quite feel right if it's over the title, and especially Moxie winning and taking the title. Um, 
also highlighted underutilized uh, talent like AR Fox and continued to lay the groundwork for the road to all in and all out later this summer. The in ring work was good and the main event was the best match of the show. Add to that the moral dilemma in which Chris Jericho continues to find himself in with uh, Don Callis. Does he join the Don Callis family? Does he not join the Don Callis family? And interesting enough, he'll be teaming up with the Kashna next week to take on Guevara and Garcia. And as you see here at the question end of the JS, it certainly looks that way. Um, he was confronted by uh, members of the JS backstage, and they basically told him to like figure it out. So Jericho certainly got himself in an interesting spot. Um, and the show overall might not have been the most electrifying, but it definitely contained enough intriguing creative developments to keep fans engaged. With a big Dynamite 200 episode next week on the horizon, perhaps the company will start providing a closer look at what can be expected from the upcoming big pay-per-view cards like Adam Cole vs MJF for the world title. Well, MJF did say and that he would give Adam Cole a world title shot, so... I mean, I think we all knew the match was going to happen, but now certainly with MJF's, MJF's, you know, declaration to go, certainly is trending that way. Um, and yeah, it'd be very curious to see how that dynamic plays out on the road to All In, uh, because we get to the uh, tag team title match this Saturday on Collision, so the tag team gold portion of their story is coming to a close rather sh rather quickly, or coming up short, coming up here, um, but there's still some time for All In, so... I think ultimately, don't break up this team just yet. There's still, I think there's still more you can do with them even after they lose the tag team title match. And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode of AW Discussion. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button down below.